Hi, we've got today with us Jennifer Van Loon from Premium Properties, and uh, you're at the Lake, Lake Nona, Nona office, yes. and you guys have how many offices now? Seven. Seven. They're everywhere, like us. That's right, everywhere. Because <laughs> we've got our five offices everywhere. So how long have you been in real estate? Twelve years now. Wow. And you're the manager down at that office? Yes. And you've seen a lot of real estate transactions, the ups and the downs. Oh yes, I certainly have. And you know, today the market is very competitive and there's a lot of people um, thinking or wanting to sell their house and a lot of our viewers have seen the great listings that we have and they're like, maybe I want to sell my house. What advice would you give to them of how to get ready to sell your house? Oh, to prepare their house to go on the market? Yeah. Well, I would certainly talk about um, the outside first, the curb appeal, making sure that it's presentable when someone pulls up to the home or views the home from the outside, because it says a lot to that potential buyer. First impressions. First impressions about what might be going on on the inside, right? And um, certainly deferred maintenance would be another one of the big things that I would um, talk to them about, because buyers tend to see every little thing so for our viewers, you know, we're in this business, but what do you mean by deferred maintenance? What is that? Well, issues that may need to be addressed. Like, let's say there was a, maybe there was a leak on the roof, but you had the roof fixed, but you forgot to prime and paint the spot on the ceiling. There's no issue, but then when the buyer comes in and looks at it, they think there might be an issue. Uh, what was the role of the agent to help them get the house ready. What do you do to help them do that? Because sometimes they're in the house and they're going to be, oh, it's ready to go. Put it on the market. It's beautiful. Well, I would walk through it with them first and I would just, you know, make sure that they put away a lot of the personal items, that they um, you know, made sure everything was nice and clean. If it needed to have a deep clean, I would also probably suggest to them to get a inspection up front just to be sure there's no issues that would pop up later that could potentially delay the closing. Everyone thinks their house is the biggest, the best, worth the most, mm -hmm. and sometimes you gotta walk them back from that cliff. Right. So how do you do that? It's so delicate. It can be challenging, but we're not just making up things out of thin air. You know, we actually go in and we research the market. We research the properties that are similar to theirs and what has sold. And you know, just because somebody wants a certain price doesn't mean it's going to sell at that price. So we look at the ones that have sold. And sometimes I've even suggested that they get an appraisal up front if it's very challenging and they, you know, are just adamant about their price. And. Do you ever run into a cross because this market's so hot right now that you could go in and a, uh, a seller can say, well, you know, I think I want 250000 You can say, well, based on my market comps, you really can get more for it. Yes, I actually just did that recently. Yeah? Yes, I have a property on the market right now. They wanted to list it at 10, almost 15000 less than what I thought it would sell for. And within the first couple of days, we had multiple offers on that property at the price I had suggested to them. We don't want to leave money on the table. I, I don't like leaving money on the table. So what advice would you have to uh, a seller that's thinking of selling their house and they hear these commercials that you don't need a realtor, these companies that are out there that just said, we'll come in, <clears throat> we'll buy it, you can move when you want to move, and we're going to pay you a great price. Well, I have researched some of those properties because, you know, those companies, because I was wondering, like, what's their angle, right? Well, they will come in and offer the, the price, but then they will deduct everything that they think needs to be repaired. So maybe they would offer that two fifty, dollars but there's 25000 in repairs, then they really want to buy it two twenty five. dollars that's why it's so important to get a good realtor, a professional experienced realtor yes. can get you the most money. It's going to watch your back, team up with professionals like a good inspector, title company and lender and make that transaction go well and get the, the most out of it for them. Oh, absolutely. And sometimes you do need to bring in professionals and that's why I contact you all. Your company's been around now for 20 years, serving yes. Central Florida, your 20th anniversary. Congratulations Thank on that. You. And we enjoy working with you and all of your agents out there. And um, thank you for being on the show today. 
and uh, we continue, uh, we look forward to continue doing business with you. Absolutely. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it.